Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the temperature sensor module known as KY028. This is the module itself. So, let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy. They can be shipped worldwide. So don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board one temperature sensor, one potentiometer, one microchip, six resistors and two LEDs. The resistor R1 used in this module is 10 kilo ohm. The resistor R2 is 100 kilo ohms. The resistor R3 is 150 ohms. The resistor R4 is 1 kilo ohm. The resistor R5 is 1 kilo ohm. The resistor R6 is 100 kilo ohms and the main reason for using the resistors is to limit current circulating inside the module in other words to prevent current from burning our module this module has two leds but we use only the led l1 to show if the module is working properly or not now i will show how these components are connected together there we have the sensor itself and of course six resistors and two leds on the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board we have in black the flow of the ground we have in red the flow of the voltage we have in light green the flow of the analog signal and of course we have in green the flow of the digital signal. Thermistors are temperature dependent resistors changing resistance with changes in temperature. They are very sensitive and react to very small changes in temperature. They are best used when a specific temperature needs to be maintained and when monitoring temperatures within 50 grade celsius of ambient a thermistor achieves high precision within a limited temperature range of about 50 grade celsius around the target temperature but this range is dependent on the base resistance thermistors as part of temperature control system are the best way to measure and control heating and cooling their ability to adjust in minute increments allowed the great overall system stability thermistors can be embedded in the surface mounted on the device needing temperature monitoring depending on type they can measure liquids gases or solids let's talk about the pins the pins in this module are four we have the ground pin with g sign we have the voltage pin with the plus sign we have the analog pin with a zero sign and of course we have the digital pin with a d zero sign so let's talk about the signal this module gives two signals we can connect the pin of the analog signal with any analog port and the pin of the digital signal with any digital port of different microcontroller boards like arduino or raspberry pi that's it guys for today if you like the video hit that like button if you want more videos like this one hit the subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video we upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time